What's up everyone, Wizard Oak is here, and we, of course, are gonna do some deck aiding here. So yeah, we basically have some really, really awesome decks. Basically, we just came out with the whole new set of From uh, Beyond Death, not From, I mean, Fion, uh, Fear, Hero, uh, Tiro, damn, damn it, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, with the new, of course, the new set, and with, of course, with some of the most, um, probably say, the greatest, uh, mechanics, which, of course, one is busy, oh, well, two years old, and one is busy new, with this escape, but I will bring at some other time. But, of course, we will, of course, uh, want to talk about this, uh, busy deck here, even though this is not Wizardly Bead. But this is uh, made by a guy named Lem Killer. Lem Killer, isn't it? Lem Killer. What is his name? Lem Killer uh, 70. You guys should check him out. He is a small streamer like myself. Well, contact streamer. And even, of course, he actually make this surprisingly amazing, well destructive deck. I mean, it's kind of playing safe here. I mean, it's got some few of the new cards, even though, of course, some are also on sideboards. But this is actually a really great deck here. Of course, I want to, even though he called, uh, basically, Fion, uh, Rato Clan, I just want to call it Saddle Clan. Because you got Emer Clan here. Obviously, if some of these guys, basically, you know Emer Clan, Emer Clan, of course, is a flash card and it's a legendary. Artifact that can be clipped in any creature's course. This spell will be cost less for each attacking creature you control. When uh, Emer Clan enters the battlefield, that says creature target creature you control and creature will equip uh, 1 1 and double strike and tremble. So, even though this is, or obviously, everyone knows this is an awesome weapon, like the most popular artifact, fun, of course, uh, fun the from the full drain, but even though you already know that, if some of you isn't, but this is absolutely great. I will bring, uh, well, not this great, but much greater with, uh, Saddle Spear. With Saddle Spear, uh, so many guys here are, of course, still new to the set. Uh, basically, Saddle Spear is like, basically, it is a crypt creature with gain E11, trample, and length link. Which is amazing. And even of course only costs a one. And yet this weapon is basically a god killer. It will basically destroy anything that is uh hex proof or even instructable in one turn. But of course it's cost two in crypt, but that's really cheap. That's like even if you clip this to one creature with them two, it will be unbelievably like you get double the life links. Which is fantastic. Which of course, uh, so, uh, Spear is definitely made top of my list on the best. One of the best, uh, dark cards in the new set. But still, it's still early, but it's only in pants. But of course, there remain them two, uh, great legendary artifacts. Let's get down some of the creatures and spells. S well, Sorcerer and Stink. So, we basically have got Knight of El uh, Elbon Legion, which is, of course, obviously a cheap creature to cast. There's one that one black. Well, black does. And even, of course, it's a free mana cost plus black in it. And, of course, we'll gain this creature a free free and life uh, death touch until end of turn. And even if you get a uh, player lose f uh, four or more in life this turn, put a counter on it. So great but even will be great with uh the free farfet champion which of course obviously he's a knight and he's a knight so that will be great and even of course this is so surprisingly he will get that encrypted cheap yeah it said here it's cost like two mana i mean two mana the car the busy encrypted and he basically say Crip ability you can animate on the target the champion will cost less 
uh, cost free to uh, to animate. So this is actually great. It's well, basically you just instantly get this for free to even clip if you have the champion. So great, even though the champion have first strike, haste, and this is of course got trample and link. So that's make this champion ridiculously dangerous. We also got uh, which I mean rubber. <laughs> Robin, Robber of the Thief, sorry, I am losing my words today, I just have a rock earlier. Uh, obviously, this is always kind of fun in the last set. Of course, got Wheat and Haste, which is awesome. Whenever he attacks, or he or she, uh, Defender player have more cards than you, will exhale top card from the library, and you may pay... Uh, basically cast that card with any mana spell, basically. Any color spell, basically, even though we, it's basically colors. Obviously, we got our favorite dinosaur from the 2020s. This is basically going to be ridiculously good, because as a defender and offense, so it's great for both sides. And, of course, we got basically got... Murderous Rider, which of course, uh, Murderous Rider, you always use it for business destroy creatures or Prime Walker, that is so annoying. Uh, even though this creature got lifelink, so it's awesome. And even of course, it's decent enough to have, in my point of view. I mean, yeah, you definitely want to destroy some creatures. I mean, even though you want to have some more creatures on the field to control, you want to go aggressive in this style. Even this is the ideal deck. Next, we have, of course, Bone Crosser Giant. Bone Crosser Giant, of course, obviously, you stomp the deal damage to any target. And, of course, obviously, if you summon it as a creature, whenever it uh, become a target of a spell. He will deal two damage to that uh, spell controller. So it could be you if you're trying to buff up, or it could be your opponent if you're trying to destroy it or something. And of course, we got uh, basically spawn of madness. Spawn of madness is basically, of course, is actually cheap as he didn't realize. If some of these guys still new to the game, uh, it's basically a special. Special basically, if you hit your opponent. Basically, will cost uh, basically less cast. I mean, it, this is maybe a four four, well a four yeah a four four uh, creature that basically costs like two colorless and two blacks. But still, it's is really worth it to have if you damage it. So I highly recommend if you damage your opponent, cast this. As creature on the field after you done your comeback, which is better, and even of course after your upkeep, it will deal damage to each player that's including you. But if your opponent's kind of less, it's good. And even of course this also is a fire and trample, so it's still great. So you don't need to worry. We also got a new card that is uh, sorry I avoid not punch Nathan with it. Uh, Tectos Giant. But it's an element giant, so it will be great for some of these element players. Uh, whenever the giant attack or uh, become a target of opponent, you have a choice of one. Of course, you busy. This giant can deal free damage to each opponent, so this is kind of busy like Bone Crosser Giant, but this is dealt with free. And even of course, exile top of your free cards. You may choose one of them. Until end of your next turn, you may play that card, so that's great. Even though it makes sense with it, uh, basically them two are basically similar, but the different status. I mean, this is like a 4 free and this is a free 4 but still, uh, this sign is also great for defending, in my opinion. I mean, this thing about a 4, a four is basically good in toughness level. And oh yeah, forgot to mention her to god damn it, as uh, uh even of course we got Storm Fist uh Crusader, which of course is great to if you're trying to get some more cards if you're basically what are you getting cards and try and find some certain land, this will deal damage to you as well, but even your opponent and your opponent also draw a card. 
that if your opponent is kind of busy, you know, have cards that's busy, like draw more cards, do not busily use this in the next turn. I highly recommend not to. But now with that done, now let's get some sideboards. We, of course, we got Angler's Remorse, which of course is from the new set. It's on common. Basically target a uh, opponent, uh, reveal his hand, his or her hand. You can choose a non-land card from it or a card from her grave. Exile that card and you will lose a life. But this is as a, is as is worth to put in. Because you know the new escape mechanic that busy in. Escape is basically like, you basically summon it from the grave. Then got destroyed, then ye, that person also can bring it back from the grave, even if you exile cards from it. This actually can kill a basically escape creature. So this is actually worth to get. And even of course spells as well. So definitely put that in your deck. We also have a uh, pronounce this right. Paradis Libret. I hope I pronounce it right. Uh boy. Uh this is actually a really good common card. Um basically said here choose one. Target Pullman sacrifice creature. Tar er uh, target Pullman to sacrifice enchantment. So this is as good for if you deal with uh, some enchantment. It could be any enchantments from the other sets as well. So even this is actually is quite useful to destroy creatures or enchantments. So we have, of course, this one as well. Uh, bad evil, or be devil, whatever. It's kind of hard to say, anyways. Uh, it's basically straight artifact creature or a playing marker, so that's great if you're dealing with like super friends or an artifact that's basically causing some real damage. We also have, of course, Axel. Uh, eat to extinction, exile a creature or plane walker. Look at the top of the card of your grave. You may put that card in your grave. So this is actually great. But even though it's a four uh, mana cost, but still great. We also have, of course, Leland of the Void. If this card is busy in your open hand, you may put it on the battlefield. If this card is put in the Pullman on a Pullman graveyard from anywhere, or a card, basically, could be any card, X out the stairs. So that will be also great for dealing with, uh, basically, X out creatures. So that is basically it. But, I mean, I mean, we're going to play, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot uh, this new lands. Uh, Temple of Mad Madis. Of course, when enter the battle will be tapped, but even when it enter the battlefield, you scry for one. So that is actually great. So for now, we are basically going to play our first match. Then we're going to match number two. So this is the plan for best of three type of cards. So here we go. Of course, we obviously going to play on ranks. So here we go. Also, we'll play an other deck after this video, probably during the week. So here we go. Don't tell me it's just froze. Good. So let's see, open hand. Well, we actually have a good open hand here. Um, if we do get a, a red after probably the next draw, but of course, I'm definitely going to cast this creature, then this, then boom, you name it. So, yeah. Well, definitely got that then. Ah, Mirror Shield. Uh, that's actually newest. 
Uh, let's see, I will discuss about that while we get this. Well, it's somebody who's not a number, is busy, uh, busy equipped it to a creature. That creature with toughness level will be 2 and have hexproof. And whenever the creature block a, a creature with a death talk block or become a block this creature, destroy that uh, creature instead. So, yeah. I mean, it's actually really great, and it actually makes sense if you're dealing with Crash and Bees or even this. Oh no. It's in the prison realms. That's surprising. He said, does exile my saddle spear. But even though this is still as an enchantment, so if you're playing a that type of card, so yeah. We're praying that's him. And like I said, he is actually cost this cheaper. Make it excellent, like. So yeah, I basically pay that for two and busy cast that and now he's gonna exile them. Or is he gonna XL? He's gonna XL it. Damn it. This guy's got a lot of XL cards. Let's see. Let's go for it. Doing not bad so far. And he got another XL card. God damn it. He's got like so many enchantment here. And even though that's not good. He's just busy out with my soil. Or not. Oh my god. That's, that's a good. That's good. That is great. Okay, he's got another card. Jeez, how many XL uh, type of cards do you have? Ooh, nice. Now we're talking. This is absolutely <laughs> surprising here. We kind of get everything under control. That's when the news, uh, basically whenever it enters, uh, look at the top seven cards of your library. When we feel it as an aura card, put in them on them and put the, and put it in your hand and put the rest in the bottom of the library. Got it. So yeah, that's like a lot to say. I see he got a uh, commanding uh, whatever. Ah crap! I just should use that and destroy that. Let's see, whenever it's attached to it, create a one, one human soldier token. Damn. That's actually really good. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, the, it kind of does. Yep, the wet, uh, basically, there is a car can't do it. Uh, basically, this type of card can do like uh, basically if you got enchantments on the cards and how many and you put an enchantment on a creature then that creature will get a lot of like one ones like we're talking about like a god no was how many right okay 
We'll definitely need to do this. Destroy that card. And just go for an attack. That's it. I mean, when I was playing that the, during the weekend, I was sur very, very surprised on this type of deck. Like, how aggressive, how... Oh, boy. Yeah, all that glitter. Yeah. That actually is a really great card now with, the, with all that. I mean, look at it. Oh, God, it's XL something now. Smart. Right. Wanna get this Cast this and encrypt it. And even though I'm this is gonna get hit massively big here. I'll probably let him hit me, and yeah, new plane walker here. That's not good. That's mean he will definitely go to uh, busy return it to my hand. Holy crap! That means that's able. These uh, enchantments can able to hold more cards. Damn. But we don't want more lands, we have enough. Right. We will definitely want to summon a giant. And the sweat. And that's not good either. Thing was looking great until this ha damn tree came along. God damn it. He's gonna enchant it, isn't he? Nope, but he is topping it up. No way I'm blocking it. Okay, probably. I don't know would it make it or not, but I mean, he got another spell here, and that's gonna be a big hassle. Oh wait, 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 wait! Oh no! I just realized it now. I done a big mistake here. Um. I should attack. I should have. But I just done a big BB. And I feel weird saying I done a big BB. Pretty weird. That is not good. He definitely won that one. So let's see, we want to destroy it, so we want to get rid of these guys. Get some uh, stuff. And of course, we want to destroy their enchantment, so that's the big deal is now we're dealing with so we want to reduce our onesies because we don't want to have too many onesies and i felt like onesies 
weird as I was saying that. So, yeah. But of course, if you guys have like a idea that is kind of better on this type of deck, that is really, really awesome. So let's see, we've got we got good cards, I guess. Well, probably this busy cast this oh, and get saddle spear out already. Even of course I do want to destroy it, go destroy him fast as I could, due to uh basically you know, he basically got a better than me than last time. Yeah, we definitely need to keep that. We never, we definitely need that. I'm losing my words here again. So, um, even though I did read some of his, uh, stuff on, like, what's good for, like, what should it take out if I, like, say, if I'm getting some fire, if I get something that's busy show anything, uh, or faster than this deck, or even, of course, a deck that's have a lot of removals, so, basically, my best bet is against suffering removal is likely is not is best in the night. So, basically, night is better. If a version of something first is really extremely faster, that's has some set here to have a spawn of number of giant uh, spawns and. Crusaders, basically, against that deck that fast. But, they're already in it, like. To me, the problem is with this deck, it kinda needs something against, you know, uh, enchantments, like, something like that. Because we're expecting to be a lot of enchantments happen. And yet, if we got nothing against enchantments, then that's kinda game over, man. You don't want to get something like hugely bigger than you. Even this uh, type of deck is kind of like a control deck, and now he does prison well me. I hate this guy. <laughs> he is a monster. Oh, no, no, no. I want him to sacrifice on basically his Chapman, so get my dude back, and that's great. Ooh, sorry, I am a bit young in here. Like I said, I was at a walk. Prison Realm again! You joking? God, this guy has a lot of Prison Realms. Even though it had to be four Prison Realms, but of course you got, uh, that other one too. Uh, nope. Okay, please don't have stuff on that prison well met. Nope, but he got that. And at least he doesn't have it. It's often just basically prison me. If not, that's good. I will take this. Ooh, nice. We will probably use that then. Probably equip this first. Then 
Destroy that artifact. And hit them for eight. So yeah, I mean this guy and person definitely have like a lot of enchantments. Can basically definitely can cause a lot of good end games here. I mean you definitely need to have an end game plan. Like what is your end game? What's your big outcome? Even this is outcome is busy head big, head hard, head fast. And yet, basically, we got like two probably great, uh, basically artifact weapons that can be credible, and we won. So, um, with that, that is that's quite good. Uh, let's see. Don't want to get rid of him, but. Uh, I want to reduce the number of that and that and put to uh, Angus Angus Aragon um, remorse. Here we go. Let's see if we could win us because this is the final round of this match. And like I said, I will do two mats as I show you how well this deck can be. And this is in a fairly good hand. We're all in good hands. <laughs> right, here we go. Okay, he got Fatal Pouch, and he's just doing that, but even though that's kind of good, not great. Now let's see how something I come, I didn't see. Let's see. What is going to be happening here? Okay, got that. Went ahead, and yeah, with that, like I said, Champion can help another knight by doubling its attack. Well, just to give it a 1 1, but still, you know what I mean. And I probably just want to hit him E2. And even to say if I hit it, if he lose like four or more, boom, I've got a one on counter on my knight. And now this guy we need to kill. This is the guy we need to kill. And I will sacrifice my life for that. And destroy it, hopefully. Now that's we anoint him or her too much, and she will, you know, have a breaking point. And that happened. Well, I can I get the counters back on it, so that sucks. So we definitely, definitely have to like give it all we got. Prison Realm again, and he's probably going for a murderous knight. I mean, murderous rider. Yes, I was right. I'm always right. And now we got that. Huh, I'm doing something first, and get him sacrifice enchantment, which is nice. Of course, he's gotten two enchantments, so which one he's going to let go? Which one he's gonna sacrifice? Cause I want him like saying, "Oh, come on," type of thing. He 
He's losing his patience. Well, he's trying to figure out something. Not losing patience. What I'm saying. Okay, well, sacrifices to get, I don't know, probably a red or something. Well, probably let's take away a black. And go for it. But that uh, summon the spawn of madness. And I just want to say that. And he definitely got something to do. But this end game with that card. Definitely got seven. Yeah, I was right. And it's taking away that. Pump this cast a giant. And eh, draw something. And this again, another one. And our castle. And that's a four. And basically, we does one. Wow, we actually really turned around, so yeah. This is how I really impressed with this type of deck. It's just amazingly good. I mean, it's not on the, you know, like the big set, top seven, 10 list on uh, other HUD, but this is definitely a deck to worth the build for. I mean, if you're basically, you know, new to the new, the whole set, and even you probably didn't bought the new whatsoever, uh, bought or haven't printed much about it, uh, basically, uh, the deck is, like, I will say, it's definitely amazing. It's definitely worth checking out for you guys, even though you are watching this video. But still, um, even of course with that uh, match, kind of was a bit unexpected to be a bit longer. But still, we got one more match. And let's see who we up against. Because I want to see what we uh, basically go there, escape our fate, our destiny. <laughs> so here we go. So even of course, even though it's gonna be like, it may be some easy kills here due to the, the set is kind of new and we had to get use of. I mean, I really, really doesn't love it. I mean, I just say, love eats color. People say some colors are weak, but I tell them, no, 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 no. You're overlooking. You're over exaggerating. Black is not weak, black has got stronger, red got stronger, uh, green is probably just really buff up, white is definitely very better, and basically blue, um, blue has also got some really great cards too. I mean, it is definitely a surprise, but probably the biggest artifact is basically <laughs> Shadow Spear. Uh, let's see. Um, we will keep. I mean, that will basically we cast this, we cast that, boom, whatsoever. So yeah, get the spear. Then basically trying to destroy that goddamn human. Oh, this one. This is Astro, one of my favorites. It's a surprise, uh, strong common card in my opinion. And even of course, due to it, it's just amazing. So we got that. So we definitely casting it. So we definitely getting that, chatting it, and hit it for two. And boom, we got some life links. So right now we need to destroy the human and the beetle. Problem with the beetle, the beetle will be getting that. Yeah, there it goes. At the beginning, uh, com uh, combat, you, your turn, off his turn, whatever. He will busy with another creature with four or greater, well, part four or greater, will put a one-one counter on it. So yeah, this is like, not 
uh, Untold. Turn to this permit, and I love this beetle. It's surprisingly strong. I mean, this is like, if you definitely want to, like, try to rust and go for the kill, this is definitely a good uh, aggressive deck type of card. Right, we want to destroy the human. And of course, problem is we could attack, but the Crescent Beast cannot attack. So the Crescent Beast is on defense mode. So our best bet is to wit. This person is definitely Mono Green. And he got someone to destroy my artifacts and enchantment. So I assume he's going to do that. Yeah. Well, at least it's one monster worth about. Let's worry about. But that beetle is worth. Is definitely something to worry about. So we definitely need to get some uh, string creatures cards in the next round. Uh, let's see. In my defense, I will definitely put this uh, equipment here, and that's basically it. Just, just wait, just wait. I mean, he's definitely got like a massive nine here, and yet it's kind of ridiculous great for with the love shock beast right now, and he got that. Someone's like expecting someone to die. Smart. Oh god, Crescent Beast. So, that's not good. Even though he done a big mistake there too, to be honest. Uh, reason is, well... He probably wanted to get his, his beast to strike, but the beast is, you know... <sighs> Can't attack due to it. So he's done a big boo boo there. I mean, I know I'm busy meant to talk about the guide of this deck. But, eh, that's alright to criticize, but not too harshly. I mean, he is winning, like. But that's saying he's done a little fatal, not a fatal, but a big mistake. So yeah, not unless you got something like create that, and that's basically me dead, but I do have some creatures defense. Oh god, that's not good. So yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I definitely have a go there. Uh, basically he won this. Oh, sorry about that. So we definitely want to get some. Want to get rid of that. Probably get rid of that, and we do some cards because we got a lot of big ones here. Like, well, let's this one too. Uh, probably take away, well, don't want to take away murder Spider, uh, this guy is focused on growth, so we want to have some death touch, probably take away the champion, and probably, uh, sort of take one out of the, of course, the thing, the robin, robber of the witch. Here we go. Now we're basically in this game again. Hopefully we will win. Ugh. Okay, sort of well balanced. Yeah, that's sort of okay-ish. But 
probably take away that thing and just begin the cat. Well, begin the build up magic, getting some mana on. Okay, we really want to destroy this one. Reason is, well, if he's in, he's definitely going to have a bigger creature to basically boost up these pen collectors. Here we go, we got a big dinosaur. And take away this then I am doing something that is basically stupid there and yeah that's kinda of well stupid but still got this destroyed. Let's go and sacrifice a creature. Let him have one G basically they worry about. And go for the attack! Hopefully we break free his barricade. Because they only got one man, so yeah. And even of course, the dinosaur don't have trample, so why not? Uh, probably take that away and destroy that prime walker. So we're kind of like sacrificing our own life here, and even that's not really great. And he give up. Wow. So we're busy on the one one, and I'm just gonna keep anyways. Keep my uh, deck busy. <laughs> so here we go. Wow, this is good. Surprisingly good. I mean, we definitely can't scry for one. But we want to get black and first, or maybe get the spear. Probably go for black. Black first. So, yeah. That's not good. With the split, there's no way I'm gonna attack because she basically got that. Oh god, going uh, chamber guardian that's not great. That means he probably got more guardians and he's gonna uh, search his whole library and basically solve it. So, yeah, that's gonna be a problematic. So how am I going to survive this type of thing? And they can hit me. Okay, is he gonna put another land? No, that's odd. Um, I'll take the thief away. 
Put that in. We got that. And this thing encrypt this dinosaur. Cause why not? And go for attack. Cause why not? So two, uh, four, six, seven. Enough to kill my dinosaur, but enough to get some life links. There he goes. Got lost struck beast. And if I hmm. Okay, let's get him in. And just trying to hit for one. He's going to really have to get block or not. Definitely not, so that's not good. So I'm going to equip, uh, of course, this in and just to give him that and go for a hit so yeah we beautifully winning here so yeah this deck is definitely an under gen so far I mean well, I play this in the tournament during uh, probably this Saturday. I will definitely will. Just, you know, brief a point, like. Let's see, probably this. Uh, sacrifice that. Well, exile it. And basically. He does give up. Wow. So yeah, I mean that is how surprisingly this deck is. You can basically is a really good uh basically basically destroying creatures very well. I mean, do I highly recommend? I recommend, but not highly. But even though it's still early with the whole old uh, not old drain. I mean the whole. Beyond death uh, sets, so we're still there's still gonna be more chances of someone's gonna have probably create something that is so unique, so beautiful, something like like you want to feel it and want something out of it. So yeah, I mean I recommend that for any beginners. Like, I mean it's it's only got like there's only like this thing you need to build over like. Wild card examples, of course, you need a Bill Blake. Latin commons, three uncommons, ridiculously 31, well, 50 uh, wares, and basically 10 mystics, basically. So that's how well this deck is. So even though I will give this a 4. This is a four. Like a four in my rage would be great. Not like masterpiece or whatever. It's just great. It's a great card. And even of course I will say this. Uh if you are watching uh Lang Cure Seventy, you definitely definitely would just create a really fantastic deck here. And yeah, this is definitely worth the share I to others. And of course this is definitely a good shout out for him. If you guys should go and check him out if you want to. I will also will link uh basically his uh deck on my on the basically down there and of course 
you guys want to check it out and hell you can comment on him and also you should give him a good follow too because he should be should be worth to follow so i will see you guys next time and i hope you are busy enjoying the video and of course if you want to drop some uh comments that's also great and of course don't forget to subscribe if you want to help this channel grow big so bye